Today I want to talk to you about how I use AI to help me raise my kids, especially when it comes to teaching them the minority languages. So something not so great happened yesterday with my five-year-old. With spring here, snails are out in the garden and the neighbors' kids love playing with them. I specifically told my son to be gentle with the snails and leave them where they found them after they had inspected them. Everything seemed to be fine until the neighbor's daughter rushed in saying, come and see what they are doing. Turns out the boys had the dumb idea to gather all the snails and step on them. I was so surprised that my son would do that because he normally loves animals. So I was very strict with him and I let him know that that was absolutely unacceptable. He started crying and we talked about why being cruel to animals is wrong. While we were discussing this, I struggled to come up with suitable consequences. I usually steer clear of punishment and rewards, but this time I felt that a natural consequence was necessary. But I don't know about you, but I'm not that creative. That's when I turned to AI for help. I asked ChatGPT for five natural consequences for what my son had done. And the suggestions got my brain buzzing and soon I had an idea that I thought was fitting for this situation. That's the first tip, like use AI to help you come up with better ideas for suitable consequences for misbehavior. So we talked about how he could make things right again. Um, we did this in Spanish, our primary language, and then we practiced what he had to say in Swiss German. So we used the OSOL method for this specific task. Since our neighbors don't speak Spanish, I coached him until he was ready. And then he bravely went to the neighbor's house to explain to the younger boy why hurting snails is a terrible idea. He was tearful, saying things like, oh, we were mean to the snails and now we hurt them and the baby snails lost their parents because of us. It was a bit dramatic, but yeah, that's how he chose to see things and I thought it was fine. My aim was for him to understand the consequences for his actions and do something courageous to make amends. And he did it and I, in front of the neighbors and the parents and the friend and I praised him for his bravery. And after that, I thought our day was done, but later I thought a story might make sure that he got the message. But honestly, I'm not always the most creative thinker. So I turned again to ChatGPT, asking for a story about a child who did something similar and learned the importance of being kind to living beings. It came up with a great story, which I then translated to Spanish. When he calmed down, I shared the story with him and we talked again about the content. And I think it sunk in. So sometimes kid, kids find it easier to reflect on a situation when it's happening to somebody else in a story. Because when it's about some mistake they did, they sometimes close up because they feel ashamed or, or they feel that they are put too much in the spotlight. So in this case, it helped build empathy and the consequence taught him to take responsibility for his action. So to sum up, AI is a real lifesaver when we're in need of inspiration, particularly for multilingual families like ours. It's an invaluable tool for creating uh, and translating content to teach our kids important lessons and instill values in our chosen languages. So this is, was Multilingual Family. Thank you for watching. Please leave me a comment, a thumbs up and talk to you soon.